Don't make this mistake. I found this thing in the um, dumpster on the property I uh, work on. The, yesterday, I brought it home. Made it, it made a humming sound. So I knew it was something with the motor or whatever and stuff. So I took it loose, the four bolts out of, I don't know if you don't know what this is, but anybody looking at this know what this is. It's an HVAC AC unit vacuum pump. So I took the four bolts out of here. I originally opened this up from this end and all the oil spilled out of because I didn't, I'm not familiar with this then looking at other videos or whatever. So don't open it up from these six bolts on the front end. Open it up from the back. Take the bolts out, take the motor off. Now on the inside is these yellow, they call them yellow jackets or coupler, coupler links. And over time, wear and tear on this, um, on the thing they like to break or the gears like to become loose from the, um, the motor shaft and it won't connect and it won't spin. Now, like I said, I took it apart yesterday, both ends, and I put it back on and turned it on without tightening it down and it operated. So I knew that the motor was still good and the motor was spinning without it connected to it. But something was going on to where you hear click and like the plate disengage, the magnetic thing it had disengaged. So I spun getting the self spin, it spun and then cut it off and it disengaged. So I figured that the thing the um gear on there and it take a one eighth inch or a very small alley key and I untighten it and then push it down on the shaft and tighten it back up and put it back together, tighten the bolts back on, and now it works. It spins, it does what it's supposed to do. I gotta get the right full, um, oil in here, cause right now I'm using uh, air compressor oil and air tubes oils and stuff. So, I needed one of these things. I was gonna spend money Seventy, eighty dollars from um, Harbor Freight to get something similar to this, but I just got one for free. I didn't have to fix the. I didn't have to pay twenty to twenty-five dollars for the copper link piece. So for the simple fix, and they threw this out. This was an HVAC company. This was an HVAC. This was an HVAC company, and like I said, they threw it out because they thought it was no good. Make the humming noise. It wasn't working no more. Who got time to tear it down? and look it over and everything but hey it's good for me they threw it away i just happen to see it i know a little bit about motors and how things operate and everything and it's not hard to like i said look on youtube find certain information and stuff like that and like i said i tore it down if i would have looked at youtube i would have spilled oil all over this chair yesterday and my floor had to use pans and rags and stuff to clean it up but i wasn't thinking to record it yesterday when i did that but like i said i took these six bolts out the front and then i took the back end i took the motor off of it look at the yellow coupler it's not brittle it's not broke and like i said the shaft wasn't stay engaged spin a little bit stay engaged but then I took the spindle off and I used the alley key thing and I pushed it down the shaft and I tightened it up and reconnected it and this thing is working fine now. Now all I gotta do is just get an adapter because I need this to, uh, I gotta get an adapter for R134A so I can pull the vacuum on what you call about a tank to recover my uh, refrigerant and do some work on my truck, which I do need to do. So free no money only money i'm gonna spend is to get some um oil to put in here so i'll set my air compressor to oil and i'm out